Hello everyone! This is Teacher Jinjin T. Gandeza at sa video na ito ay tatalakayin ko ang special products, particularly Cube of a Binomial. Kung interesado ka, just keep on watching! Hello mga anak shis! Welcome to Math TV PH. Ang channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorials, lectures, or discussions na Tagalog at Taglish na dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat, ang tatalakayin ko ngayon ay tungkol sa special products na Cube of a Binomial. Ito ang part 4 ng special products. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood ang square of a binomial, sum and difference of two terms, square of a trinomial, i-click nyo lang yung nandito sa taas para mapanood ninyo. Okay, so ngayon, i-discuss ko dito yung step-by-step -step na pagkuhan ng Cube of a Binomial na hindi na kailangan ng long method. Kaya siya special product dahil meron na siyang pattern na gagamitin natin. Ang una kong ibabahagi ay yung sum of cubes of two binomial. Ang madalas na ginagamit sa representation ng patterns ay yung the cube of a plus b or pwede namang a cube of x plus y. Pero dito ang gagamitin natin ay yung a plus b. Ang una-unang gagawin is to determine the first term and the second term. Ang first term dito ay yung a. Yung second term ay yung b. So, first step, cube of the first term. So, ano ang first term dito? Yung a. Kunin lang natin yung cube. So, ang sagot is a raised to 3 or the cube of a. Second step, plus 3 times the square of the first term by the second term. Simply, 3 times a squared times b. Next step, plus 3 times the first term by the square of the second term. So, ang may square dito is yung second term naman. So, 3 times a times b squared. Ang last step, plus the cube of the second term. Ang second term natin is b. So, ang magiging sagot niyan is b raised to 3 or the cube of b. Kapag pinagsama-sama natin lahat yan, magiging a raised to 3 plus 3 times a squared times b plus 3 times a b squared plus b cube. Ito ang magiging pattern na gagamitin natin. Para mas madali ninyong maisaisip, tingnan nyo yung a. Yung exponent ng a dito is 3. Then sa susunod is 2. Then ang susunod is 1. Yung b naman pataas. So, ang exponent nya dito is 1. Ang susunod ay yung square. Then ang last is cube. So, pataas siya. Yung A is pababa. Para mas madali ninyong ma-memorize. Para mas maintindihan ninyo, meron tayong examples. Meron tayong the cube of 3x plus 4y. Alin dito ang first term? Yung 3x. Ang second term is yung 4y. First step, cube of the first term. Ang first term natin is 3x. So, then, ang ibig sabihin nito is 3x times 3x times 3x. So, ang magiging sagot is 27x raised to 3. Second step, plus 3 times the square of the first term by the second term. So, 3 times the square of the first term by the second term. Then, isolve natin. So, ang pwede natin i-multiply first is 3 times 4y. So, ang mangyayari dyan, 3 times 4y is equal to 12y. Then, isunod natin yung my exponent. So, 3x times 3x is equal to 9x squared. Then, ang last is, multiply natin yung 12y times 9x squared is equal to 108x squared y. Sa pagsulat ng variable sa mathematics, dapat naka-alphabetically arrange. Next step, plus 3 times... Okay, so 3 times the first term, ito yung first term, times the square of the second term. So, ang pwede mong i-multiply na ay 3 times 3x. Pero pwede mo namang i-diretso kung mas, mas nadadalian ka. Unahin natin yung 3 times 3x. So, 3 times 3x is equal to 9x. Then, 4y times 4y is equal to 16y squared. 
Then 9x times 16y squared is equal to 144xy squared. Ang last step is plus the cube of the second term. Ano ang cube ng second term, di ba? 4y times 4y times 4y is equal to 64y cube. Ang final answer, pagsamahin lahat natin ng mga nakuha nating sagot. So, meron tayong 27x cubed plus 108x squared y plus 144xy squared plus 64y cubed. Ngayon naman, gagamitin natin yung pattern by substituting the value into the patterns. So, ito yung pattern natin. Try natin without looking at the steps. Meron tayong the cube of 5u plus 7v. Ang first term natin is 5u and the second term is 7v. So, let A be 5u and let B be 7v. So, yung value natin ng A and B, isubstitute natin doon sa value ng patterns. Ang A cube natin is the cube of 5u. Next, 3 times A, AI 5U squared times B, which is 7V. Next, plus 3 times A times the square of B. Ang B natin is 7V, so kaya B cube natin is cube of 7V. Then, sagutan na natin. 5u times 5u times 5u is equal to 125u raised to 3. Okay, so lagay na natin dito yung sagot. Next, unahin na natin yung madaling sagutan pero pwede nyo naman idiretso. Para maipakita ko lang yung step by step na pagkuha ng sagot. So 3 times 7v is equal to 21v. Then 5u times 5u is equal to 25u squared. Next, 21V times 25U squared is equal to 525U squared V. Alphabetically arrange nyo siya. Next, i-multiply ito. 3 times 5U is equal to 15U times 7V times 7V is equal to 49V squared. So, 15U times 49V squared is equal to 735UV squared. Next is 7V times 7V times 7V is equal to 343V cube. So, the final answer is this. Tapos na natin yung addition. Punta tayo sa difference of cubes of two binomial. Kung napapansin ninyo, ang napalitan lang dito is yung second term and the fourth term. Pareho lang din sila ng steps. So, ang gagawin natin, cube of the first term. So, A raised to 3. Next, minus 3 times the square of the first term by the second term. So, minus 3 times A squared times B. Plus 3 times the first term by the square of the second term. So, plus 3AB squared. Minus the cube of the second term. So, negative B raised to 3. Para maintindihan natin, let's try an example. Example, the cube of 2 third mn minus 5p. Ang first term natin dito ay yung 2 third mn. Ang second term natin ay yung 5p. Huwag muna nating pakialaman yung minus 5p dito. Kasi meron na siyang pattern. Cube of the first term. The cube of 2 third mn is equal to 8 over 27 m cube n cube. Next step is minus 3 times the square of the first term by the second term. Dito, ilabas muna natin yung minus times 3 times the square of first term times the second term. Unahin na natin i-multiply yung 3 and 5p. So, 3 times 5p is equal to 15p. The square of 2 third mn is equal to 4 over 9 m square and the square. Tapos, i-multiply na natin yung 15p dito. So, ang magiging sagot ay 20 over 3 m square n square p. Ilagay na natin yung minus sign. Plus 3 times the first term times the square of the second term. Unahan na natin i-multiply ito. So, 3 times 2 third is equal to 2mn 
times 5p times 5p is equal to 25p squared. 2mn times 25p squared is equal to 50mnp squared. Last step, minus the cube of the second term. So, the cube of 5p is equal to 125. Then, ilagay ninyo yung minus sign. So, the final answer is 8 over 27 m cube n cube minus 20 over 3 m square n square p plus 50 m n p squared minus 125 p raised to 3. Another example, the cube of 10a minus 3c d raised to 4. Ang first term natin dito ay 10a. Ang second term natin is 3c d raised to 4. Okay, cube the first term. The cube of 10a is equal to 1000a raised to 3. Minus 3 times the square of the first term times the second term. Pasensya na po kayo. Na Nabaliktad lang yung bracket dito. Huwag nyo na munang pansinin. So, negative 3 times the square of 10a is equal to 100a squared times 3c d raised to 4. Then, i-multiply na natin. 3 times 100 times 3 is equal to 900. Kopyahin yung mga variables a squared c d raised to 4. Plus, 3 times the first term times the square of the second term. So, i-multiply na natin to. 3 times 10a is equal to 30a. Then, 9 times 9 is equal to 9. C times c is equal to c squared. Times d raised to 4 to the power of 2 is equal to d raised to 8. Then, i-multiply natin. 30 times 9 is equal to 270. Then, copy the variables. Last step, minus the cube of the second term. 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27. C to the power of 3 is equal to C raised to 3. Then, D raised to 4 to the power of 3 is equal to D raised to 12. Then, saka nyo ilagay yung negative sign or yung minus sign. The final answer is 1000 A raised to 3 minus 900 A squared C D raised to 4 plus 270 AC squared D raised to 8 minus 27 C cubed D raised to 12. So, without looking at the steps, gamitin natin yung pattern. For example, the cube of 12F raised to 2 minus 6G. Let A is equal to 12F squared and let B is equal to 6G. So, gamitin natin yung pattern na to. First is the cube of A. So, ang A natin is 12F squared. So, ganyan. Minus A squared. Ang A natin is 12F raised to 2 squared times 6G. Plus 3 times 12F squared times the square of 6G. Minus the cube of the value of B. Yung value nito na substitute dito sa pattern. Okay, so naging ganyan. Next, the cube of 12F raised to 2 is equal to 1,728F raised to 6. So, diretso na natin ilagay dyan. Next, dito, unahin natin i-multiply yung negative 3 times 6G. So, negative 18G. The square of 12F squared is equal to 144F raised to 4. Times negative 18G is equal to negative 2,592GF raised to 4. Next, 3 times 12F squared is equal to 36F squared. Then, 6G times 6G is equal to 36G squared. Then, 36 times 36 is equal to 1,296. Kopyahin yung mga variables na F squared, G squared. Minus, the cube of 6G is equal to 216G raised to 3. Ang final answer natin ay ito. Kung gusto ninyong mag-practice, try ninyo ito. Kung gusto ninyong malaman yung answers nito, just comment down below with a hashtag cube of a binomial para gagawan ko ng ibang video. Yun lamang mga anak shis, maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Sana marami kayong natutunan. Kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na ito, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share nyo na rin sa mga kaklase ninyo. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag-aral ng mabuti. 
Goodbye mga anak, sis!